is Freddie Gross. I am the chair of the board of trustees of the Maryland Institute College of Art. And I'd like to welcome you here today on behalf of our president, Fred Lazarus, who unfortunately is right in the middle of his two-week holiday and could not be with us, though he's here in spirit, as he always is. And I'm also representing our Board of Trustees and I'd like to welcome you from the faculty and the staff and the students. Um, it's just an honor to welcome Governor O'Malley and Mayor Rawlings-Blake to historic main building on our campus today to support youth employment. So welcome. holding down these marble steps. The painting above the students on the staircase perfectly showcases the symbiotic relationship Micah has with the state throughout its history. Installed to celebrate Micah's centennial in 1925, you know, we were founded in 1825 when Maryland was the third largest city in the United States. The mural is appropriately titled Maryland. It features our founding fathers, including Lord George, Lord George Calvert, Francis Scott Key, and Charles Carroll, being led forward by figures representing mechanic arts, architecture, sculpture, and painting. Unfortunately, it's all white men and naked women, however. So we're just going to ignore that and look for a restoration project sometime soon. <laughs> Almost 90 years later, Micah continues to work hard to lead the integration of art and design education with community engagement in a way that enhances Baltimore and all of Maryland culturally and economically. We're excited to host the fantastic young people behind me as employees on our campus this summer through our partnership with YouthWorks and the City of Baltimore. This is just one of the wide range of community engagement initiatives we have made central to both academic and administrative operations at MICA. More than 50 courses, concentrations, and degree programs at MICA involve working with community members, including the sustainability and social practice undergraduate concentration and the first in the nation MFA in community arts and MFA in curatorial practice graduate programs. MICA's Office of Community Engagement has awarded $100,000 in grants over three years to support community initiatives by students and faculty. And the college has invested more than $60 million in developing, uh, helping to develop facilities along North Avenue as we help to revitalize the station north. Next week, we'll be welcome a giant community to our campus, and I hope you all will be down here for Artscape, which, thanks to President Lazarus, has been anchored on our campus for over 30 years. Um, this is a wonderful effort um, that works every year to bring a huge, uh, diverse population to our cultural center. But we're pleased to add YouthWorks to our community outreach initiatives, and equally pleased that the governor and mayor are here today to announce even more state and city support to empower the citizenry. And so I'm pleased to welcome Mike to Micah's um, uh, very historic building, um, our great governor and wonderful friend to Micah, the Honorable Martin O'Malley. Freddie, thank you very, very much, and thank you for the tremendous work that is done here at MICA and this awesome building. Isn't this a great place? How many of you have the opportunity to come to work here every day? Okay. How many of the young people are working here? A few of you. All right. Good. Good. Well, this is one of the great places and great spaces in Baltimore, and I uh, 
I want to thank uh, uh, Freddie for all of your good work and all of the people here at MICA. And I especially want to thank the young people. You know, it is true that without a job, there is no progress. And we've all certainly been reminded of that over these last three, four really challenging years. We're now on the verge of having recovered all of the jobs we lost in the recession. So uh, we're making progress, but there's still a lot more work that we have to do. Because during this recession, quite often, young people were displaced from what might have been part-time jobs because of the adults that needed the jobs. So youth unemployment went up even higher. And as we speak, about one out of five teenagers are still looking for work this summer, which is where the mayor's passion for summer jobs comes into play, where all of the private sector partners who are represented here come into play. Because of the choices and because of the investments that we're making together as a people, we are going to be able to support 5,000 summer jobs for Baltimore kids this summer. So when we realize we're all in this together and we all come to the center and put in our investment, the state has made a $1.3 million investment to all of us as state taxpayers, but the city is doing, uh, doing its part. The mayor has convened the private sector partners and uh, the mayor's terrific uh, director, Karen Sitnik, who has such a passion. All of this is about making our city a safer and a better place for our young people. And our young people want to work. Don't you want to work? There we go. I knew what the answer would be. They're wide awake, they're excited, and they look at this world as full of possibilities and full of hope. And uh, if only we can do our part as adults to make sure that they have the opportunities. And it's not just about this one summer, because once you do this, once you guys work in whatever your work experience is this summer, you are then going to be able to have that reference on your resume. When you go to get the next job, whether it's in the fall or when you go look for another job next summer, you'll be able to have your future employer call your former empl employer and they'll say, yes, he in fact showed up every day and worked hard. Yes, she got to work early and she worked late and she did a good job. And that is so critically important to getting that next job as you move up the, the ladder and, and the rungs of greater opportunities for yourself and also for your families. So with that, on this exciting day when we announced 5,000 summer jobs for kids in Baltimore, I would like to introduce to you a woman who needs no introduction. She has a passion for our city's young people and a real passion for summer jobs for Baltimore's kids. Please welcome our mayor, Stephanie Rawlings-Blake. Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, thank you. It is my pleasure to be here. I want to thank the governor for his introduction and for his continued partnership and, and Freddie and all of the MICA staff. I want to thank you for hosting this press conference that is so important to Baltimore's young people on your beautiful, beautiful campus. Today, we are particularly grateful for the support the state is providing our help uh, to help our young citizens experience the world of work through summer jobs as a part of our Youth Works program. As many of you know, there was a time that the federal government played a more significant role in helping us find opportunities for young people. Those days are long gone, uh, which tests the local and state government's resolve about the value of work experiences for our young people. We know that young people who receive job experiences are more likely to be successful in the future. It's just common sense. If you have a track record of working, you can use that to leverage your next experience. But you can't talk your way into the door without having something, something uh, on a resume, something to say that you participated in the work world. The investment in the development of workforce skills for our young people is a wise one. It's smart for the city, it's smart for the state, and it's smart for our country. So despite the lack of federal funding, Baltimore has continued to operate one of the strongest summer job programs in the nation. And I want to thank Governor O'Malley for his continued support of our efforts. YouthWorks annually links 
5,000, excuse me, 5,000 young people, young uh, youth and young adults, uh, to a six-week summer job program in a wide variety of industries at a cost of 1,200 per participant. This year is no exception. More than 440, 545 work sites are supervising 14 to 21 year olds. And uh, to the adults, don't you remember when you were, you know, had this much uh, energy and, and, and spunk and, and all the, the promise of the future in front of you? So, 545 different work sites are supervising 14 to 21 year olds this summer at different locations locations, including community centers, banks, law firms, state and city agencies, and universities just like MICA. The financial support provided by the, the uh, governor is significant. It pays the wages for more than a thousand young people to work uh, 20, 25 hours per week for six weeks. And while I can't thank the governor enough for the support, uh, we also know that it's in due to all of our partners who help make the funding possible. We're proud that Baltimore has established and developed such an impressive program that serves, a, serves as a shining example of what can be accomplished when we partner, public and private partner together. We've received generous contributions from the philanthropic community, the business foundations, and individual contributions. When we go out and we talk about summer jobs and how it just, it, it just costs $1,200 to sponsor a kid, believe you me, we get those checks for $1,200, for $2,000, for $3,000. If people say they can't do much, but they can sponsor one child. Or they can sponsor, well, I shouldn't call you children. Young, <laughs> one young person, young adult, uh, for a summer job. So, uh, one million, so that was the, the, the contributions that I just mentioned uh, were in excess of $400,000. $1 million in funding from the Maryland State Department of Human Resources and the Baltimore City Department of Social Services. I don't know if Molly is here. Ever since she changed her hair, I don't recognize her in public. Molly McGrath Tierney, thank you for your support. Uh, Molly, I, I say it every time I get a chance, it, uh, she puts her money where her mouth is and where her heart is. Uh, anytime there's an opportunity to partner in an innovative way so we can uh, provide more services for our young people, she's there. So thank you very much for your continued support. And it is our second year of our Hire One Youth campaign, which encourages local companies to interview and directly hire some of our young people. Yes, we want our young people in our parks. Yes, we want our young people in our rec centers and in our pools helping us out. But doesn't it make sense if we're trying to train a diverse workforce that we look for private sector employment opportunities for our young people? Our Hire One Youth leadership team, chaired by the Greater Baltimore Committee President and CEO Don Fry, has done an impressive job of expanding opportunities and expanding the direct role of businesses uh, that they play in partnering with our Youth Work Summer Job Program. Don and our whole team at MOED have, uh, and the leadership team have championed the effort and encouraged their colleagues in Baltimore and various sectors to join us in creating a stronger workforce. And I say encourage, but I really mean, you know, even shame some of them into hiring more young people this summer. I said, do whatever you need, but we want to make sure we have more um, young people hired this year. From the start, I made it clear that this is not about charity. I'm not asking for young, for these, for the private employers to give our young people a chance out of some sense of altruism. It's about training the workforce for the future. I ask them to embrace their roles as leaders in the business community, as influential leaders in the business community, and make a positive impact on the city's workforce and our economy. Because when Baltimore citizens work, the city works. When our young people work, the city works. And that puts us in a better position to achieve our goal of growing our city by 10,000 families over the next 10 years. MICA serves as a perfect example of the Hire One Youth employer, um, as, as an example of one of our employers, by providing the wages of, uh, for half of the 20 young people employed here this summer. I want to thank MICA and all of the Hire One Youth businesses, some of which are represented here today. If you're one of our Hire One Youth business, please raise your hand so I can give you a big hand. Thank you. I want, to, I want to thank you for your partnership. Thank you for embracing this partnership. I believe it is a win-win, and I also want to pre, uh, express my appreciation to all of our young people, our young workers who are with us today. You certainly, um, you certainly make me proud, and I know the other people who are here. It's time to learn more about the experiences of our Youth Work Summer uh, activities here at MICA. So I am going to introduce, and you have to show me which one you are, Margaret. Where is Margaret? 
Newton, Margaret, behind you. All right, thank you very much. Margaret Newton is gonna talk about the experiences she's had here hiring our young people. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. I'm Margaret Newton, Director of Building Services here at MICA. This is a pretty exciting day for us, very exciting. I am honored to stand here in front of this group of very fine young people. They are hardworking, they are responsible, and they are respectful. They want the same things I wanted when I was their age. I wanted to be responsible. I wanted a job and I wanted to earn my own money, just like them. At age 14, I was given that opportunity through a program very much like this one. It was called Operation Champ, six weeks, and it was sponsored by the city of Baltimore. I'm going full circle with this program, and it's a pretty good feeling. That experience gave me something of, of a foundation. The people that I work with let me know how to do things, how not to do things how to function in a professional environment. It made a difference. We at MICA hope to create a very good memory for this group. We want them to understand they have stepped into an environment that is welcoming, that is educational, and they want to see these folks succeed. While they're here, in addition to working, they will receive life skills training. They will receive financial literacy and other programs here at MICA. When they leave, we want them to be well-rounded. Working here at MICA will give them an opportunity to see how a college operates from the inside out, not from the outside looking in. We are hopeful that maybe one of the 20 might decide to come to MICA or may decide to attend another college. But whatever they do, we hope that they remember the things that they learned at MICA. We hope that they remember how much we cared about them here. And 10 years down the road, if they hear MICA, they'll say, I worked there one summer, and you know what I learned? or I worked there one summer and I got to see a lot of art. That's a good thing. That's a really good thing. We cannot afford to lose sight of how extremely important programs like Youth Works are to the citizens and our young people in our community. We can't. We have to help them learn life lessons and be prepared to be productive citizens in Baltimore or wherever they choose to live. That's our responsibility as adults. We pay, pay it forward. We can continue to do that by sponsoring and supporting programs like YouthWorks and other programs in Baltimore City. I am very hopeful this is just the beginning of a very, very long relationship with the city. I hope next year we will have a new workers or hopefully some of the workers that are here now a larger group or more groups. We intend to grow with this program. At this time, I would like to present two of our student workers, Mr. Hakeem Muhammad and Ms. Tiffany Cooper. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Hakeem Muhammad. I live in Baltimore, Maryland, and I'm a recent graduate of Digital Harbor High School. I appreciate the opportunity to participate in Youth Works because it's preparing me for the responsibility and hard work that's waiting for me out in the world. I also appreciate working in MICA because it has a degree program in which that I would like to study in a field in which that I would like to have as a career, graphic design. 
So not only am I getting prepared for the responsibility through youth works, I'm working in a college in which that I have great interest. Youth Works is a great program for the upcoming youth because it's helping us prepare for the next level in life. So I would like to thank Governor O'Malley and Mayor Rollins Blake for giving us the opportunity and the experience to, for the dedication and hard work through Youth Works and placing me here at MICA. And I would like to also thank God for allowing us to come together for this special occasion. So everyone have a good afternoon, and thank you all for your time. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tiffany Cooper, and I'm from Baltimore City. I'm, I'm a graduate of National Academy Foundation High School. I am very excited to be here today. I have participated in Youth Works since the summer of 2007. Youth Works has given me plenty of opportunities to broaden my resume in many different ways, including my networking skills, my communication skills, and expanding and setting long-term goals for myself. Working here at MICA has taught me many different things how to treat people, good customer service, and treating people the way they want to be treated. The students and staff of MICA have been very respectful towards me. It is a wonderful experience to be able to enjoy this beautiful scenery, the beautiful art. As I go through life, I would like to be a successful hotel owner. MICA is helping me to master good customer service and how to interact, interact with other people. Most important is learning about different cultures and his works of art. I'm learning what a world-class institution looks and feels like. So once again, I'd like to thank Governor O'Malley, Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake for being here today. Thank you for your time and enjoy your day. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm just I'm Karen Sitnick, and I direct the Mayor's Office of Employment Development. And just want to ask if there are any questions relative to the summer jobs program. And if there are not, then I'm going to ask Mike to come forward, and he will tell us the next step. Well, first of all, Governor O'Malley, Mayor, um, Madam Mayor Rawlings Blake, on behalf of President Lazarus, thank you very much for being here today and the support to Baltimore youth, and certainly to MICA in this great state. Personally speaking, in talking with President Lazarus, with our summer students, he wanted me to share a message. We all remember our very first summer jobs. We hope that you will look back fondly at MICA and this summer, and that you've learned some skills, developed some meaningful experience, and leave with some of the greatest robust aspirations for continuing your education or entering the workforce right here in the city and the great state of Maryland. Please come back and visit our campus, join our galleries, exhibitions, take classes, or we hope that you will be applying for some of the opportunities in full-time employment here at MICA. We'd like to thank the governor and mayor one more time, and the governor and mayor have graciously volunteered to help our students with some landscape duties outside. <laughs> and I have your work shirts here for you. So I'd like to ask everyone's cooperation. If I could ask our student workers to come down here and uh, get, get prepared for work. And if I could ask everyone else to stay where you are.